for those of you wondering why there's been no update and no half marathon at all, it's because I got injured just two weeks before the end of it and I've not been any better since. So three weeks after getting injured, I decided I should do something about it. So I have come to Total Therapy to see Rick, who's a cycling fan, uh, to see if he can sort me out. Just looking at you now, don't move, yeah. right? We can see there's more tension on the right than the left. Resist me pushing towards the wall. Resist me pushing down. Relax that down. So, it looks like a bit of a repetitive injury with a little bit of high ankle sprain in there. So this will be a grade one sprain strain. Right. And we know that because a grade three is a complete rupture. Yeah. Grade one is about 5% of the fibres that are dis yeah. irritated. Grade two, there's masses of swelling and more than 5% of, it, but it's not a complete rupture. Yeah. So we know, and it's usually two to three weeks of rest, yeah. rehab, mobilization, and it should be healing quite well. Okay. Okay. So how long has it been now? Two and a half weeks. Okay. Well, so I've, been, I've still been walking a fair bit with the dog okay. and stuff. But yeah, I've run two and a half not weeks. Not run, okay. Uh, well, one week on from my first Cairo appointment with Rick and about almost four weeks on from my injury, I'm back. I am feeling slightly better actually and a bit more optimistic about finally being able to run again. Uh, so we'll see what Rick's got to say. Let's go in. You too, how are you Very well, sir. Very well. I noticed when I got out of the shower last week that the left ankle was quite a lot bigger than the right. Okay. I don't know if it still is, is it? It is actually, yeah, a little bit it's still swollen. swollen yeah. Well, Dan, I was hoping we wouldn't be sat here in a few weeks' time, and we are now. Unfortunately, obviously, you're injured, as you've said already. Update us what's going on. Well, I did the longest run, I didn't complete it, but I was out two weeks to go until the half marathon, going to do 20 k's. In my head, I thought I'd do the full 21 on the day, just to sort of as a test. And about 12 k's into it, I just had a slight niggle here on my outer ankle. The sort of niggle that you get all the time when you're running, I mm. thought it'll probably go off. It's got a bit worse and a bit worse and a bit worse to the point where I thought, I'm gonna have to just stop here. The trouble was, because I was doing a very long run, I'd done a big loop, I was in the middle of nowhere in the New Forest somewhere, and uh, it was quite a walk to get to anywhere I could be picked up. And it was when I started walking that I realised how bad it was. No, I don't I mean, know, I guess because you've got other pain going on when you're running anyway, when I, the rest of the pain stopped and it was only my ankle, I was like, actually, I've done something here. But with my old mindset of being an athlete and being a lot younger than I am now, I thought it'd be a few days, I'd be all right. But four weeks on, it's better, but not 100% better. I wouldn't be running on it still. Is there anything you think may have caused or is it just... I don't really know. I just wonder whether it was related to the shin splints, which were on the same leg. Hello. Hello. <laughs> um, you know, I had the same injury and you told me to take a couple of days off and this run on the Sunday was just a few days after that. So I'd had two days off and actually that was my concern on the run. Constantly thinking, how's my shin feeling? I could just vaguely feel it. And then just as I was thinking about that, the pain came on my ankle. So whether or not it was related, I don't know, but um, this one's certainly been more long term because we're now four weeks down the road. Yeah, it doesn't sound, from what I understand, um, like severe, like you know, serious, serious trauma, like you know, a stress fracture or anything. But uh, the problem with tendons and anything lower limb, for that matter, is that you're always putting weight on it when you're walking yeah. around. So it's so hard to recover from. Um, now, what's the um, chiropractor that you've been seeing suggested and? Uh, what advice so a few exercises, um, basically anything that will get fresh blood into that area. Yeah. So I've got one of those, um, was it stress bands? What do you call them? Yeah, therabands. Yeah. Therabands, yeah. So just move my ankle outwards, putting it down and, and bending my leg forward, okay. etc. Just to get, um, I guess, a bit of strength in there and just some mobility really and, and fresh blood back into the area to try and get it to recover. Um, so as I said, it is getting better. There were points where I was really struggling to just walk properly on it. Uh, and it was quite frustrating the recovery because there'd be a day where I'd suddenly get up and think, actually this is not far off gone yeah. and you think you cracked it. And then the day after, get out of a chair and think, oh, actually it's still really bad and I'm struggling to walk uh, properly on it. So yeah, that, that's been frustrating, just the 
almost roller coaster of recovery from this because it hasn't just been a linear, gradually getting better. It's been up and down. Yeah, absolutely. And now the big question: Have you totally lost your motivation for doing this half marathon? And obviously, it's a few weeks or more now of no running. Um, are you still keen to do the half marathon? No, I can't be asked now. <laughs> no, I'm only joking. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm. I'm definitely going to do it at some point. I mean, this is something that we've gone back years with. We were supposed to do that bath half, yep. weren't we? And that got snowed off. I kind of lost a bit of motivation after that. This seemed like the perfect thing. And I felt so good, the fact that I, because I was kind of expecting to get injured. Seven weeks of ticking off pretty much every training session and not getting injured felt like a win in itself. And then I guess the inevitable happened. Um, initially, again, I was thinking, well, if it's only a week, it won't take long to get back to where I was, but four weeks down the road, I do want to do one. I guess the positive from this could be that if it is going to take me a bit longer to get back to running and then a bit longer again to train for a half marathon the second time, it might get to the point where we've actually got an event to yeah, train for. Yeah, well, exactly. That, that would be really cool. As opposed to just me running with you as my domestique. Is that not good enough? <laughs> <laughs> it would have been fine. I was fully motivated for that, but the thought of running with a load of people would be even better. Yeah, awesome. Al. Actually, talking of other people, we've been delighted to actually be ha receiving quite a few messages from you guys that have been following this journey, the plan, and have done your own half marathons. And we've had some pretty impressive times coming in. Even one of the chaps in our team has done a sub 90 minute half marathon, which is really cool. Hashtag jealous. <laughs> yeah, it's been a bit bittersweet reading all of the people that have done those half marathons and fantastic that you follow the program because most people writing to me have said how um, great they felt and how they beat the time they were hoping to do in the first place but I'm there thinking well I haven't done it yet and I really wanted to beat my time as well but I will get there at some point but yeah fantastic effort by everybody that followed the program. Yeah, well, th thanks ever so much for doing that. And also just, we want to update you to let you know the journey isn't over. Whilst we've obviously put it on ice on pause for a period of time to allow you to recover, we will be coming back with hopefully a final video in the near future with yeah. your half marathon. Stay tuned, 2024, we're there. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks ever so much everyone for following along. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. So. Give it a thumbs up, give it a like, and don't forget to give us a follow over on social media and subscribe just down below.